Hello everyone again, and welcome back to Let's Play Some B-Games. Uh, in the last recording I tried to record Captain Cool as well, but for some reason when I played it back it was just in the corner of my screen and it flicker flickered a lot, so I guess Camtasia doesn't like it. But um, if anyone knows how, to, knows how to solve that or can make a recording themselves, that'd be awesome. Alright, now on to today's game. Today, we're going to be playing Cottage of Doom by Hawan. Hawan. Something like that. Um, this is a very special game because this actually won the B-Game competition. So congratulations to Hawan on that. And I think it's well deserved as it's a very fun and well put together game. Experience the chilling terror of a modest force dwelling beset by the hordes of the undead. Prepare to enter the cottage. Of doom. Eh. Mm -hmm. Loading. Hey, you guys! This is a very neat abandoned cottage in the forest at night. Don't you think it's creepy? I feel like I'm in a house of terror. Hog hog. But this is a college chapter and not a house. Stop! Do you hear that noise? It sounded like shambling. What does shambling sound like exactly? I will go outside to investigate the noise. Better you than me. <laughs> hog, 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 hog. Be careful. There's nothing. What's happened? <gasps> zombie! Grr, grr. Best zombie noise ever. Zombies? The light of the moon is making the rise from their graves. What? This place is surrounded by thousands of graves. What? <laughs> I'm going upstairs. Cottage of Doom. Uh, it's controlled with the mouse, actually, which makes it very good. Um, you walk around with the left mouse button, you fire with the right. Uh, you can pick up crates and other things to use as barricades, or you can right click them to shatter them and pick up wood and ammo. Uh, wood you use to repair things like doors, windows, to repel the invaders, and ammo you use to shoot things with which, you know, hopefully should be obvious. So, like, this door has an empty black bar, which means it's not repaired at all. So we're just going to repair it. And then we're going to close it. We're going to take these drawers here and put them down in front of the window. Because if the zombies can't see you, then they're less likely to attack. Save with this clock. Put it down. Is that another window. Take these drawers. Oh, new drop. Suddenly I'm carrying a chair. Uh, it's slightly buggy, but that's okay. Oh. They're coming already. As you kill zombies, you get what's called a zombo, which is zombie combo, I'm sure. Um, which gives you score. And really, there's no way to win this game. <laughs> You're pretty much gonna get killed either way. Oops. The best you can do is hold them off for as long as possible. Oh god. You also don't have um, 
a life bar of sorts. You have stan stanima instead of stanima, um, which is measured in terms of joules. But as you get hit, it goes down, and if you find a place to rest, then it, it heals. So basically, the only way to die is if you're surrounded on all sides, pretty much. Uh, you can double click to run, too. Obviously, only t tall things will block their vision. I like these drawers, but they can see right over chairs and tables and stuff, so it's pretty much better to just smash them. And every once in a while, Cuthbert from upstairs will um, throw down new drops, which can either smash or use as barricades if they're tall enough. This part's kind of boring, actually, because you're just waiting for them to break in. That's when the fun starts. Oops. Um, windows are stronger than doors. Oh god. They're starting to break in. broken in. Fight, protagonist whose name I've forgotten. Fight for everlasting peace. Except for zombies. Kill zombies. Ah! Die, monster! You don't belong in this world. Furniture, you can just pick it up. Table. I'm not sure if you get different amounts of stuff. Uh oh, they're breaking in based on the type of furniture you break or not, but I think it's about the same. Go back from whence you came. Whoever thinks it's a good idea to go to an abandoned cottage surrounded by a bunch of graves. this is a game of choices. 
can go outside, try to confront the undead menace on their terms, and build up a huge score multiplier. Or you can hold them off as best you can and hope that the longer you survive, the higher score you get. Ow. Oh god. I'm just gonna uh, ignore that for now.